Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Journey. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Primal Lord that just came up. Now, I'm super stoked for this, guys, because we haven't had the ability to actually see this boss yet. I haven't seen it. Um, we weren't progressed enough to see it the first time. We weren't progressed enough on the PTR, but you can see duration is 43 minutes. So it's super, super short with here. So I want to hop over and I want to see this. Now, remember, this is a global boss. So that is something to remember. So what players were saying, what it was, it's kind of a race to kill the boss. I'm not exactly sure exactly what this is going to look like, but overall, it looks awesome. You talk about something that is just absolutely breathtaking. Uh, it is really cool looking. You can see we have a lot of rewards in here, so I'm not sure exactly how long. So the faster that essentially we kill it, the more rewards that we are going to get out of here. Now, of course, this is going to be required to have some, some really strong DPS. Now, for a majority of players similar to myself, I don't know how strong he's going to just literally rip through our team or exactly what we need, but I'm gonna put in the best heroes that I have. And it's pretty cool because you can see there's other players actually all sitting around this boss that are watching it. Now you can see the combat rating there. I'm gonna go ahead and battle. I don't know exactly what this again is gonna look like or how it's gonna look in here. But again, just kind of based on what we have here, trying to manage. So there we go. So it looks like he was maybe chained. It looks like he came up again. Um, defensively, I'm gonna have to look at his skills and abilities, and I don't know if he's getting stronger, but you can see that we're knocking off some HP there. But again, I don't understand it being so short-lived, and it looks like there are also people on the sidelines, which look like they're almost casting things. I, I can see some of the heroes, and again, he goes right back to his spot. Wolves are hopping all over. Lucky for me, I have Smokey. Smokey, of course. Now, I feel like um, Shakir, there, there's probably a lot of other heroes that would do a lot more damage in here and a lot more consistent damage, especially not running two tanks. But even looking at the build that we have with Antrandra um, and Tem Temesia, or Te Temesia um, it doesn't seem like that there's really a need for a tank or even two tanks in this aspect. I feel like we probably hurt our damage there overall, but again, boom, doing some dazzling DPS right there. So there we go. So, uh, and it's always funny, 1,899K. So we are unranked with the team that we have. Now I'm wondering if you can do this again. We can do it three times. So there we go, guys. So we can do this one time. So there's the resilient healers. Um, let's look at the tips through here. So let's look at the abilities. So formable one eye wolf king. Periodically, the mist around the wolf in the battle, allowing her to summon wolf pack to to attack miscovered enemies. Wolf King has a chance to, to dodge. Uh, for each hit, deals 30% of the, and afflicts a stack of bleed on there. Okay, so pretty good with that one. The so charges towards the furthest target, dealing 250% damage, dealing 30% extra damage to the target beyond two tiles. So if it's further away, that is gonna do, of course, more damage. The deals 120% damage twice to the target within a one tile arc then deals 150% damage to adjacent enemies and interrupts them. So that is something to remember. And I'm thinking maybe we'll go with a pretty good, so there's a haste boost, 20% uh, physical and magic defense upon defeating an enemy hero. All right, so I'm gonna put in my team that we usually go in here. So I'm gonna drop out Entendre as a tank. I'm gonna put in uh, Kruger in here because again, Kruger does a lot of damage. And I'm just gonna go with my regular team. So I'm gonna drop out Cecilia. I'm gonna put Mary Lee in here. And this is kind of the regular team that I run when it comes to a lot of the, the other game modes. Um, Brianna's in here, which again, not super effective, but overall looking at the build and the heroes that I do have, I feel like this is gonna be a pretty strong team. I'm gonna put Smokey in the middle. We're gonna keep Odie in the back. And then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and buff up Odie's attack speed. That way his attack speed goes up a couple different times. So he'll actually have the ability to amplify the damage. And of course, I'm a little bit worried because of course the furthest enemy away is going to be Odie, but I'm hoping that it is going to be covered by Smokey. Should be good. Should be good. And again, we have one more shot at this, but I feel like we can do a lot more damage. And of course, within here, guys, Kruger has that big defensive buff um, or, or that big defensive debuff in here that we like to see, which again, I, I feel like we can do and we are going to do a lot more damage in here because of that, that buff being able to actually take down a lot of the armor that we have with this boss itself. And of course, back there, boom, a lot of unaffected, which I believe that is the enchantment or the stun effect. 
And again, really stacking up the damage that we have Odie doing here. I'm hoping we keep Odie alive. That, that is absolutely going to be a pretty big requirement in there. But Kruger, of course, throwing that big defense down, which allows Mara Lee and um, Odie to do a lot more damage in here. All right, we got 15 more seconds. Let's see, because we do have Cecilia built out. Now, of course, we could probably swap out a few, which Odie went down with just a couple seconds left. But I'm thinking that damage in here, yeah, we're, we're significantly higher on the damage charts here. And again, this is going to depend a lot on the heroes that you do have in here. So boom, look at the amount of damage. Tank doing pretty good, Kruger doing. Merrily not doing a ton of damage in here, which again, I, I wish we had a couple other heroes in here just to really amplify the damage that's in here. But again, unranked at this point. But we're getting resources, guys. We're, we're getting loot, which is exactly what we want. So let me drop out. So Merrily was our lowest damage in here. So again, I'm thinking of a couple other heroes in a few, um, like Sh Shakir, I think it's Shakir, um, we don't have in here, which I know does a lot of damage. Um, I'm wondering if maybe Laika in here, or maybe Cecilia, again, just case, kind of cased on the build, or dependent on the build, on exactly the damage we could do in here. You know what? I'm going to drop her in here. Let's see. Let's see exactly what she can kind of do in here. I didn't see the first time. Now, she does buff herself. I'm just wondering if Mr. Car Carlisle is going to be worth it um, to put up some pretty big damage numbers in here. Just having another target, especially with that physical defense. Again, that is going down in there. And if we can also keep Odie up, I, I feel like that is going to make a big difference in here with being able to really maximize the damage. And 59 seconds left, and I mean, damage is looking pretty good so far. And there we go, Mr. Carlisle's up. Yeah, and I, and I know Cecilia puts up a pretty good amount of damage, especially because of where we do have her built. We've got 27 seconds left. We just hit the two, 2 million total damage mark. Stacking up some more chests, and I like it right here, guys. We are seeing the, the chests just stack up in this top. Now, of course, this is our last one. And again, it says there, there's a couple minutes in here, like the, the 49 minutes. I don't know if that essentially is going to unlock kind of round around, so 2.6 right there. So again, pretty happy with the progression that we're making in here. Still kind of unranked, but yeah, 2.6. And again, 14 chests out of here, guys. If we're getting some equipment chests, but look at that experience over there. That is a massive amount of experience, which is awesome. And he just looks just absolutely amazing, guys. And you can see all of these numbers kind of flying by. And again, looking at the ranking rewards, unfortunately, we're, we're unranked within the top 200. Probably have a lot of a lot of room to push damage in here. I know um, just based on kind of the competition and where kind of everyone is, because look at that. Wow, we're at what, 10? 10.1, I think that's 10 million or 101 million damage, um, which is kind of crazy. We're at 6.52. So you know what? I am I am okay with that being at 6%. Again, some of the heroes we haven't been able to pull in here. It's been incredibly challenging, but let's hop over. Let's do a couple summons. And he, again, when you look at, at the boss himself, um, he just looks awesome. It looks really, really cool. So there is the arena rewards. Now we also did get the test rewards. Now this of course gave us our expedition lead title, which was really cool to see that we actually got that. Now that was for the beta sale that we did. I wanna hop in here. We got some diamonds, we got some summons. Hopefully we can get right here. We're looking for Shakir, we're looking for Thorin. They are two of the heroes that we have been summoning for and summoning for kind of crazy. As we keep pushing more and more progression in here, it's been challenging to get some copies in here. And look at that one, two, three, four, five, which unfortunately, those are ones that we already did have at that point. So that's okay, because advancement wise, definitely using them. We're gonna burn through all of our diamonds and there we go, guys, there's Thorin, finally! Our first copy of Thorin, we have been waiting and hoping and fingers crossed for Thorin forever, guys. And there is finally a first copy of Thorin and we got Oh, I was going to say, is that another copy of Thorin? Um, but it is Rowan, and it's Coco down here. 
uh, insufficient indictment. So no more summons in there. Let's hop over to our epics. We have 11 more. And again, looking for those two. We're looking for Thorin. We're looking for uh, Sh Shakir. I think it's Shakir. S-H-A-K-I-R. But let's see. Do we get one here, guys? We do not, which we got Nauru. Finally, we pulled a copy of Nauru. There are some additional acorns right there. And that I think that sets us up for one more summon. And of course, all of the, the um, materials that you're getting out of this game mode, you want to save. So there is another acorn. Unfortunately, that's the last one. When it comes to right here, the dolly tickets, you want to save those for the Stargazer. The Stargazer is going to be the main priority. As you can see, we don't have any more, but we have 29 more summons until we can actually get that copy of Rainier. So overall, very, very cool that we made some more progression in here with these heroes. And then of course, just continuing with the copies we're getting out of here. Now, when it comes to the soul stones, we just really focus on the heroes we have. You can't use them for anything. They can't carry over. A lot of players were asking if you could take the excess like soul shards right here um, and, and carry them or give them to other heroes. As of right now, I don't believe you can in any means. So getting these heroes bigger and built up a little bit further though, um, does make a really big difference because that is gonna give you your progression in the towers. That is really one huge thing to focus on on there is on um, being able to make some more progression in the towers. And I'm hoping that again, just kind of where we built on Tundra that we haven't seen many copies of, but where is Thorin? I'm gonna drop Thorin in here at a 92. I wanna build him up a little bit further. And of course guys, one of my absolute favorite things is when we're building out these heroes and of course, Look at the amount of essence we got out of there. But when we're building out these heroes, um, we don't have to swap the gear. We don't have to go through. We don't have to mess around with it at all. So there is 100. We do need some more essence, which just a little bit short here to get um, our tank up a little bit higher. But I'm not worried about that. But we should be able to make a ton of progression with all of the levels that we gained in here. And of course, those are coming from the absolute crazy amount of essence that we did get from this guy right here. We have another 204K right there. We've been pushing this a ton and we push this every day. Like I've said from the beginning, this is the absolute 100% focus is going in here and making sure that you're maxing out these heroes. But again, the replacement of Entendre moving over to Thorin is gonna make a really, really big difference in here. And of course, just going in here and getting gear. Now I haven't used a lot of the resources to actually level this up. So as of right now, boom, everything's done. We recycle everything else we have and we are done, ready to make progression, ready to go through the battle modes, going through all of these different game modes. And again, every single day we are grinding this out like crazy, but lone, that lone gaze, guys, look at how absolute awesome this boss looks. But all right, so that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.